burning questions everybody has is, is it easier on a front leg amputee or a rear leg amputee? Um, it may depend on the toy breed, but you know, 60% of weight bearing occurs in the front legs and 40% in the hind. Mm -hmm. So that means that if you take away a front leg, it should be harder for them just by those numbers. Mm -hmm. Especially older dogs, where they have back problems, you see weakness in the hind, hips, knees, etc. So, you know, it's kind of probably would be harder to take a front leg. A, they weight bear normally more on it. B, there's more degenerative conditions that occur in the hind limb. So later as they age, it's probably going to become more. If you're holding something stretch. heavy, Good right, stretch. it's much easier to hold it closer to you with less stress on your body mm -hmm. than if you're holding it out here. Mm -hmm. So the same thing. So the front limbs, they're working really hard because not only are they carrying this weight, but they're carrying the weight away from their body because mm -hmm. their head, the weight of their head is out in front of them. So what about recovery time for front versus back? Would that be any different? I think it more depends on the compensatory issues or the pre-existing problems the dog has rather than just front or back. Also, size makes a huge, huge difference. I mean, the big dogs, they'll get amputated and they're like, I'm not getting up. <laughs> Sometimes, you know, uh -huh. in the beginning and you kind of have to coax them and, you know, there's all the stuff. Well, this guy was right, like, oh, right. where's my fine. leg? You know, I don't know. And he was bopping around. Nobody have other stuff. Another huge, huge issue that we deal with with all of the dogs, not just the tripods, but a huge issue for a tripod is to keep their weight down. You know, you, yeah, yeah. obviously he's going to do well if he stays thin and this and that, but if he gains a bunch of weight, it's just going to be that much more difficult on him. Mm -hmm. So for all tripods, they really, really need to keep their weight down. How do you know if you're giving them too much exercise, though? I don't think any tripod, this is personal and I'm conservative about this stuff, but I don't think any tripod should be like let free like a normal four-legged dog all the time and exercise as much as they want. I think that uh, any dog with any disability, whether it's arthritis or whether it's three legs, I think that you as the owner need to decide what's appropriate and inappropriate. Dogs like this get sore much more easily than a dog with four legs than you can imagine one. You know, and they have so many compensatory movements that I think we just need to make sure they don't overdo it. Could we get your opinion on certain breeds and how they cope with the amputation? I think that, um, you know, kind of the lazier, bigger breeds tend to not do as well. They get nervous you know about getting up, I mean, really they get scared, like am I going to fall and am I strong enough to handle this kind of thing and sometimes those dogs don't get up as well. It's more just how comfortable they are. Mm -hmm. And there's always the option of a cart. Yeah, carts really help. I was going to ask you about that. How do you know when a tripod is, is ready for a cart? I, I think that, you know, if you're seeing the other limb start to degenerate or have issues. Um, and when the dog has two strong front limbs in a rear wheel, in a rear wheel cart, they fly, no problem. They do make um, front wheel carts for dogs that don't have a front limb or don't have um, two front limbs, as we've had recently. Um, and they seem to do fine too, as long as they have other limbs that are still pretty functional. Depression is exists in pets. I think it's a little bit different. I think they, he was depressed before he lost his arm. You know, mm -hmm. um, he's yeah. a totally he's different moody. personality now. Yeah, he's we are moody. always telling owners when um, they, you know, as soon as a dog has an issue, they start feeding the dog laying down. They start picking the dog up all the time. They start doing everything for the dog. One because they feel bad. Two because they want to help them. But the truth is, is that you got to make the dog do it. Dogs don't eat laying down. They eat standing up. If it means that you have to support them a little bit while they get learn good how to get and harnesses yeah, while they learn how to get their balance, but they eat standing up, it's better for their digestion. It's normal, and what you're trying to do is normalize that dog, not baby them. You want to teach them how to function normally rather than baby them, because that's when they start to get lazy. They're like, "Why should I get up to eat? Mom's gonna bring me my food right here. Why do I have to get up to walk outside? Mom's gonna carry me." Mm -hmm. um, and so we really try to. It's we call it tough love. It's no different than being a kid. Amy's the master. I'm the taskmaster on tough love. And it's tough. but it, it's you know it's if you want your dog to get back to normal, you got to start from the beginning and not treat them like they're you know disabled or invalid or whatever. Treat them like normal.